How to use the map, Number 2 Construction Battalion. This is the Google My Map of Number 2 Construction Battalion, Canadian Expeditionary Force. At the top of the Google My Map on the left is a description of the map and related information. To read the full description, hover over the text in the top left corner of the screen until you see a white glove cursor. Click on the text. You can also use the drop-down arrow. At the bottom of the description text, you will find the list of sources used to get the information for the map. Please click on them to learn more. You will also find our contact email for the York Region District School Board, YRDSB, Museum and Archives. Please email us at museum at yrdsb.ca if there is any inaccurate information or changes that need to be made. The Google My Map on Number 2 Construction Battalion is divided into five categories or layers, as seen here on the left. These categories reflect the country of birth of the service members. When a category is checked off, the map will reflect the serviceman's present address that was provided on their attestation paper. Addresses at the time of enlistment are either personal addresses, addresses of next of kin, addresses of the enlistment site, or the town, municipality, city of birth. If you wish to see only servicemen born in Canada, check this category on the left. The map will now show only those individuals born in Canada. You can do the same for the other four locations. The blue markers on the map will reflect the serviceman's address that was provided at the time of enlistment. It is normal to see them scattered internationally. Click the name on the list to see all of their information listed alphabetically, as well as the corresponding blue marker on the map showing their location. You may also click the blue markers on the map to reveal the corresponding serviceman's name and information on the left. Please note that while Number 2 Construction Battalion was a segregated black unit, its leadership was predominantly white, including its commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Hugh Sutherland. Therefore, the names on the map will be of different ethnic backgrounds. The battalion's one officer of African descent was the chaplain, Honorary Captain William A. White. Use the plus and minus signs to zoom in and zoom out. You may also view the map through two different views, the map view, which is the default view, and the Earth satellite view. Using the map menu. The menu allows further options to utilize the map. To access the menu, click the three dots here. You can select from the following options. Collapse map legend. This will hide the legend, allowing viewers to see the entire map. Map details. This will give you the map description in plain text. Copy map. Copy the map, which allows you to edit your own version of the map and share with others. The copy map function also allows users to tell what you know. Once the map is copied, users can then annotate the map. For example, add a layer, draw lines, measure distance between two markers or points, or add your own marker. Print map. If you wish to print the map on paper, please follow the printing instructions. Zoom to viewport. This option will zoom out and display all markers that are highlighted. Embed map. Provide a URL link that will allow you to share the map. View in Google Earth. If you want to view the data in Google Earth mode, users can see the soldier data in a 3D representation of the Earth based on satellite imagery. Use the Measure Distance and Area tool to further examine distances and points on the map. Using this tool, you can see and measure how far soldiers of Number 2 Construction Battalion travel to serve. Researching a soldier. To research a specific soldier, you can use the search function on the map. To do this, click on the magnifier icon. Type in a name, first and or last, or regimental number. The name may not be at the top of the suggestions. You may have to scroll through the list to find your search item. Click on the name you are seeking and it will bring you directly to a marker on the map as well as load the soldier's profile. The search results may vary based on the amount of research data available. You can read through the details on the enlisted soldier's regimental number and family information, as presented from archival information, 
from the Nova Scotia Archives digitized version of the nominal role of officers, non-commissioned officers and men on strength as of 28th of March 1917. In this case of Private John Mansfield, Black Canadian Veterans has provided a research profile on this soldier. YRDSB Museum and Archives invites you to explore the lives of these amazing soldiers and welcome any feedback to museum at yrdsb.ca.